Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, subscribe for more golf videos every week. This is a spot. You're talking about a private club built in the 20s in the mountains. The golf course was the second most expensive when it was built. Really, in the yeah. world? Yeah. Yeah, it's got definitely a UK vibe to it. It is a Rainer golf course on top of a fucking mountain. All right, so after lunch, which was not barbecue at all. Um, in fact, there was no barbecue on the menu. It took me like minutes to adjust to the menu that I wasn't expecting. And now we're gonna head to Lookout Mountain, which is apparently a rainer on a mountain. I'm trying not to curse, so we probably bleep that out. We are currently half a mile away from apparently one of the best rainers out there. And there it is. You can see a little bit. That is on a mountain. One more round, unplanned, legendary as always. How you doing? If you like Rainer, this place will knock your socks yeah, off. The, you see it? There's the Alps. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, this is on top of a mountain. <laughs> We're at Lookout Mountain. We've got a course in Tennessee designed by a well-known New Yorker. It's the hardest five hole start in golf. Money. Yeah. Money ball. You have this view off of this Alps. There's just like a spine. You can just see down the spine of these mountains. It's got definitely a, a UK vibe to it, don't it, Patrick? Oh, yeah. well, they have a lot of events, though. I mean, but usually you see on like any given weekend, you'll see kids on the golf course throwing a football or. Really? Oh, yeah. And dogs everywhere. There's usually a dog that'll join up with you at some point in your round and just follow you for a couple holes. Wow, look at this hole. This is simple golf. Basically all day my challenge is just to like outdrive your persimmon with my... <laughs> I think I got you on this hole. Oh, you might have. My, uh, I feel like we're inside of a painting. You know, you ever get that feeling on a golf course? Yeah, all the time out here. Right. And it's Sweetens. Yeah. Yeah. And Sand Hills. Sand Hills. So when when Sand Hills began and opened, that, that was the beginning of kind of this, uh, what would you call it, throwback architecture? Or? I'd say it's like another renaissance, man. Really? Another renaissance. It really is. So right now, when we're looking at this golf course, you're seeing brown rough and that's a that's a, a product of dormancy yeah yep and so can you explain what dormancy is because i might think that i know but i might not every year the grass dies literally dies huh and then when the weather starts coming back the root structure starts going bermuda like this is all 419 it was sweetens as well it is like the most hardy weed anywhere huh. like it'll grow through cement it'll grow through <laughs> anything this is coming back faster Oh, like it'll all come, oh, like it'll so all, the same grass. The same grass. This is just getting more direct light. But and It's a product of East Coast golf. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it's just the region you're in. This is this is what grows. This, this is what grows it. best. This is it. And it doesn't bother you. You know, there are parts of it that I, you know, it does get sticky. It does grab. When it's dormant like this, it's a little bit faster. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, you know, you can't really grow anything else out here. No. And that's just the way it is. You hit it. Makes his three. Woohoo. Great bird. One under and I'm one over. Really makes you think about your whole life when you watch someone do that. It's like a set of greens you have to learn. You can't really read. Yeah, in fact, I played this one golf course that's pretty well known. And the caddy said, I said, great read. He said, nah, you don't <laughs> read these greens. You remember it. <laughs> to test the yardages. I mean, I got 98 to the pin, uphill into the wind. It's gotta be 115. That's a funny shot that's gonna work. 
Thanks, man. I mean, I almost fell over, but it's fine. I mean, can you even replace these divots or what? So what's the Tennessee lifestyle? We're actually in Georgia right now. We're in Georgia? Yes. What? Yeah. How did that happen? We crossed the line coming up the mountain. We're in Georgia? We're in Georgia. But are we but in Tennessee? Know, or are we in Georgia? No, we're in Georgia. No, but are we in Tennessee? We're in Georgia. No, no, but like, are we in Tennessee? Yes. We're always in Tennessee. We <laughs> so is this like actually in like the Tennessee uh, PGA section? Is it really? Yeah, it's kind of funny, but yeah, we're in Georgia. What time zone are we in? Easter. I'm out of breath. Like, like, where are we? Am I on a plane? Yeah. Lookout Mountain is like, look out for your heart rate. Huh. Oh, wait till you see the hill on seven. Okay. <laughs> look at these flowers. Or weeds. Honestly, it's all a matter of perspective. I think I can make a birdie from there. Nice bird. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> birdie drought. Megan, Finally. is it true that the ball flies further when it's on the tee? Yes, because you're going to hit it higher in the face. It's going to spin less. Thank you. Now on the tee from Texas, Bryson DeChambeau. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I had to. Oh, God. You got me all thinking about fucking single length irons. You got me all mad. Don't show that shit. Honestly, worth it for the comedy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm here for the comedy. Hey, my expense. So wait, so. is this currently functioning as a Buretz or no? Yeah. This is how they all were originally. They were all originally not green in the front. Oh, really? Yeah. They were Whoa, all. Oh, like mind blown! So, For the ninety seventh time so today. The goal was you'd hit it into that pad, kill it, hit the swale, roll it up on the green. Whoa. That was the exciting thing about that shot was a ball would disappear down that swale, and if you hit it right, came back up on the other side. Whoa. Otherwise, you get stuck in it. So the first one was in, in France. Barrick or France? France. The first one was uh, Willie Dunn course in Baritz, France. It was called the Chasm Hole, and that's what that hole's modeled after. Guys, just want to make sure you all have your pencils out and your notebooks open. No <laughs> texting, no talking, no whistling. There will be a test at the end. Oh, plays it like a Scott. And does he drain it? Oh, no. Oh. One ball. Oh, no. Beauty. Very nice. Beauty. Three good ones. Whoa, look at this reveal. That's stunning. Look behind you. Oh my goodness gracious. This is amazing. I mean, it's the time of day to play golf. So this is the tee box we're headed to on six? Six. Most expensive tee box in where? <laughs> I said the golf course was the second most expensive when it was built. Really, in yeah. the world? Yeah. In, uh, what was it, 42, 36? 26. 26, close. <laughs> <laughs> Yale was the most expensive. Really? Yeah. Is Yale CB McDonald's? Yes. I'm getting to know my architecture. Yes. <laughs> this is a spot though. This is one of the most severe shorts anywhere as far as the penalty for missing. You miss the green and you, you're short okay, but like anything other than short. And uh, that's all she wrote. Wow. That is indeed a tee box. Wow. You can really see camp fairway. That's amazing. I know, isn't this great? <laughs> This is, I've, all right, so sixth hole, Lookout Mountain, uh, Ace Cam is live, Patrick. Let's, uh, we got, we got 120, a little bit of helping breeze. Oh, down, 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 it's gone. Less than 120. <laughs> all right. That was Note, way off. Noted. All right, so update from Lookout Mountain, sixth hole. Spoiler alert, nobody made an ace, but it's a pretty cool tee box.
that's kind of one of the things about this golf, right? Is it's not as simple as point A to B. The flag is not really the, the flag is kind of like every pin is a sucker pin on these, in these <laughs> courses, right? Well, I mean. And it's about how like the course, the, the, the tee, the fairway and the green all kind of are gonna lure you into bad decisions in some ways, it, which is interesting if that intelligence is so old, right? I mean, am I right or is well, that? It's been, I got, you know, course has been around, strategy's been around since courses have been designed. I mean, that's why classic courses are still relevant is because the strategies still hold up. All right, so we're on number 11 here, the Alps, and Patrick wants us to see something. I see this view. I mean, you're probably kind of ready for the view you're about to see. Are you ready? Like, just hang on, are you ready? All right, let's show him, Patrick. Woo! So you kind of peek up over this. You're looking down the spine of this range. You have all these ranges back behind you, and you have this awesome punch bowl presented right in front of you. Wow. His best view in the city right here. Well, we're making our way to our final hole here at Lookout Mountain. And if you know your way around this course, you'd know that we're walking off the 11th green and onto the 12th tee, falling in line with my tradition of not completing some of the best courses out there in the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just the reality, but it leaves us with what, Patrick? An opportunity to come back and play it again. I knew he was gonna say that. It's like we're just a team. Look at that swing. Still out driving me with a persimmon. I asked Nash moments ago, if you ever try to look at the similarities or differences between Sweetens Cove and Lookout Mountain, two, I would say, completely different yet very similar golf courses. Yeah, I think, you know, when you're talking architecturally, uh, like Patrick was saying earlier, you'll, the cool thing about templates is seeing the golf course and the architect's rendition of it. So you'll definitely see that at Sweetens Cove and you definitely see it here on the mountain with Seth Rayner. And uh, it's just beautiful. It's funny because here we're finishing on 12. 12. That's enough golf for me. 12 whole courses sick. Breswick, right? Yeah, Breswick was great. What do you think we have here? What, what did you do it? Oh, a buck 30. The time in between shots and golf is, is what golf's all about. It is what golf's all about. <laughs> and in some sense, that's where the mental game comes in. And like, it's not about like getting distracted and thinking about a bunch of other things. So, so beautiful. This, right here. So, this is unbelievable. 12, 13, 10, 6. Oh, wow. All lined up. All of the greens together. Yeah, Rainer was really good at finding a spot like this and routing greens around it. They call it stacking greens? Yeah. Rainer. Well, just basically the way that they're kind of presented where you've got a series of them kind of one on top of the other. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. My man over here, Patrick, just told me that Cypress is a Rainer routing. Did you know that? Well, I did not. How did, I never knew that. Cypress is always thought of as a McKenzie. It, well, Rainer was who was originally hired to do it and the routing that McKenzie used was Rainer's. You can think of how all the par threes would be if Rainer got to finish it. He had three courses on contract with Del Monte. Dang, just secrets revealed, minds blown, histories completely <laughs> un undone, yeah. Another one in the books. How many Rainers are there, my friend? How many? Yeah. Like low 40s. Low 40s, yeah. that's doable. Yeah. Hmm, how about scratch the top 100? I'll just play the 40 Me Rainers. Buddy. Oh, what's the next Rainer for us, you think? Make a prescription, Doc. What do you I want? need some Rainer. Sorry, you, you want to see, okay. So here's the thing. Here, I'll tell you where we're going. We're going down to Georgia, and okay. then we're going over, we'll be in New York. Okay, there's all kinds of it in New York. Yeah, uh, all kinds of all it. Kinds like it's of a, it. like it it's a flu it virus. 
or like a weed stray. <laughs> <laughs> you got any Rainer? Yeah, any Rainer. I got some of that purple Rainer. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? Rainer? Yeah. Like Rainer, just Rainer himself. Like not. I don't care. No attachment to, I mean, no, you can... uh, Shore Acres. Yeah. I love Shore Acres. Well, safe travels. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. My pleasure, man. Keep in touch. Not to be confused with Pat. <laughs> <laughs> safe travels.